Hi, I'm Cillian. Welcome to my art channel. In this video, I show you how I paint an acrylic still life painting of Australian cuisine. Enjoy! So, Australia, besides for the indigenous population that was there first, it has become home to many different cultures because of the different wars that sent people from different countries over there. So the cuisine of Australia is very diverse. They took something from everywhere. They have a little bit Asian, they have a little bit British, a little bit American, and all, all different types in their diet. And of course, they have their own homegrown specialties. So, on our first plate, we are going to stack slices of bread. And what's special about this bread is that it is covered with a layer of butter and then a generous um, sprinkling of what they call hundreds and thousands. Americans call these things sprinkles. They are little sugar bowls with plenty of different pretty colors. And the British, and I guess also the Australians, call it hundreds and thousands. Why not millions? So, that is their lovely sandwich that you can have. It's called fairy bread. And it's just a piece of bread, butter, and all these hundreds and thousands of sprinkles. I guess it's not your healthiest, but it certainly is colorful, and it's fun for kids. Very simple to make. They've got all the colors there, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, Even two shades of blue, very colorful sandwich. And our next specialty is going to be a traditional meat pie. Meat pies are what every Australian eats. They say that you can't say that you're Australian unless you've eaten one. And some people call them dog's eye. It's basically a pastry dough with who knows what inside, but probably meat, possibly from a kangaroo or an emu, since those are part of the population over there. They're also eaten. And from the British, they picked up the fish and chips. So we've got some fries here on the side that are the chips. And they say that they don't know how to do the, the whole platter exactly as the British do. They don't do the peas the right way, but they have the their barramundi. That's their their special fish that they've got in their waters. So that's how they serve it. Sometimes the fish is breaded, 
Maybe give you a little salad on the side and a small dip in a bowl. But they are an island, so they've got plenty of fresh fish. And here we'll serve some Anzac biscuits. This is a special snack that commemorates the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps, Anzac, who fought in World War I. It's what their, the soldiers' wives used to make for them and send it with them on their long ship rides since it lasted well. It's only made out of oats, flour, sugar, coconut, golden syrup, butter, baking soda, and water. So that was their snack that they ate and reminded them of home. Next we have Vegemite on toast. Many people don't like this spread. It's called Marmite in Britain. And it has a, a savory flavor, which many people don't appreciate, but those who like it, like it a lot. I guess it's an acquired taste. And I put some avocados on the side, since they've got plenty of those as well. Next we have a, a lovely dessert over here. Sweet, but refreshing with all those berries. Pavlova. The Australians and the New Zealanders will fight over who it really belongs to. But it's basically like a big, huge meringue. And you just top it with whipped cream and fresh berries. And it's a beautiful, light dessert. I put a kiwi in the middle. And here's a small plate with some lamington cake, which is like a sponge cake that's coated in chocolate icing and desiccated coconut. Sometimes there's a layer of cream or jam in the middle. And that's what they serve in bakeries along with your coffee or tea. 